Hi, my name is Brett Olson and I'm a safety application engineer at SICK. Today I'm going to show you muting with the SAFE RS3 with two different detection groups. Right now I have two sensors set up and in the configuration window. Then I'll go to settings. I'll go to digital inputs and outputs. You can see I have a muting group set up in the digital input. And then I also have my detection signal groups down here. So detection signal group one will be for one of my sensors and detection signal group two will be for my other sensor. Now, when I go to my detection field groups tab, you can see I just have that first protective field set up for group one and my second field set up for group two. When I go to the muting tab, you can see I have that one muting sensor for group one. Now, when I go to the live validation tab, you can see currently I have both sensors running, my muting group is off, and all of my detection signals are on. So I'm gonna go down to my sensors. There's the first one, and there's the second one. You can see that they are tripped. Wait for that four second timeout, and now they're back live again. Now when I take my muting sensor away, that means that that sensor is being muted. So only one of the sensors should be working right now. See, it works. And then nothing happens. Now that I get my medium sensor back, you can see both sensors are running again. Tripped. And that one is also tripped. This can be especially useful when you're doing restart prevention if you want to mute a group during full operation. If you have any other questions, please contact your SICK rep or safety MAE. Thank you.